Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Los Alpacas Church this fine Sunday morning. It's good to see everyone of you here this morning. We hope to see some more in the next few minutes. We have a couple of announcements before we begin worship service. And we'll begin worship service with really the baptism. And it'll uh, be a wonderful thing to see. I want to give a couple of uh, announcements that will be coming up this week and uh, maybe the next week after that. This Saturday is going to be pretty busy. Well, I just want to talk about today first. First, we have two uh, deadlines that are today. First deadline we we'll talk about is Operation Christmas Child. We're going to watch a video on Operation Christmas Child this, uh, today, but it's not going to be about today necessarily. It might be, by, might be something maybe you want to think about uh, sometime in the future as you're preparing for next year's Operation Christmas Child or Christmas shopping for Dr. Stephen or whatever you might think about uh, with that. I'm sure you'll, talk, sure you'll have an idea what I'm talking about when we get to that. Also today, uh, we're going to we want to be part of the crisis preparation event this afternoon as we get it. Uh, we do need the order forms in today. And so uh, we have those order forms on, on the table. And I think this table right out here has in uh, as well. So if you need one, they are there, but they need to be in this evening uh, and uh, in the office. Uh, or giving us, we can, we can put them in the office for you. But we do need those definitely uh, today. Okay, uh, we have a couple of other things. Uh, next week is our Thanksgiving meal. So some of these announcements have to do with Thanksgiving meal. So that, that's going to happen. And um, on Saturday, we're going to be decorating tables. Put the tables around uh, the perimeter of the church. At least the corners of the perimeter here of the sanctuary. And, um, and, and what we're going to be doing, not only put the tables up, we're going to be decorating them. So there's some uh, school departments that are uh, that are come together to, put, to have decorations. There's some individuals that have said they want to decorate. So if you're one of these people, someone that wants to be involved in decoration, just hey, bring some decorations and, uh, and especially you know fall decor that type of thing and decorate tables. We'd love to have that. I'm sure there'll be plenty of tables to go around. And if you have too many tables, uh, I don't think we will, so we don't have to worry about that. But anyway, um, if you want to be a part of that, please come at 6 o'clock on uh, Saturday, on the 16th, Saturday, to be involved with that. Also, if you'd like to donate a turkey for the Thanksgiving meal, uh, they're, you know, I know they're on sale at Kroger right now, so it's a pretty good deal right there. But if you want to get a turkey, uh, we'd like to have about 20 turkeys. And we need to buy Tuesday if you want to have a turkey. And so that would be a, if you want to donate a turkey, if you can bring those up by Tuesday, it would be a, we very appreciative of that. Also, there's an announcement with the Disciples Heart on the second page about um, what sensible classes are going to bring uh, certain uh, dishes, uh, veggies, uh, dressings, uh, desserts, rolls, deviled eggs, cranberry sauce, that kind of thing. Uh, if you were in that sensible class, uh, then tell me what you, what you want to bring right there. It's going to be on the second page of the part right there. Okay. I think those are the only uh, Thanksgiving meal just for the Little Cypress Baptist Church. But the Lion Center is also going to have a Thanksgiving meal a little bit later. It will be on Friday, November 22nd. It's going to be a lunch from 11 to 2 that they're going to have. And um, we have a board over here where Emily Day is standing right here. Hey, Emily, can you wave there? Just, just wave. Emily standing right there, right next to... Uh, uh, I guess a poster board right there, and it has post-it notes that says certain different things that they would like to have uh, serving at the uh, at the Thanksgiving meal that they're going to have. So if you want to go by and grab one of those and bring it by uh, by by the twenty second, and um, and and we'd be happy to do. If you have any questions, you can ask uh, Ms. Jeanette Crocker. She's the uh, chairperson for the uh, Learning Center Committee right now. So. Uh, she will be able to answer your questions for you pretty well. But anyway, it's going to be for the Learning Center workers and their families, and we'd love to honor them with that. Uh, we have uh, also on the 16th, um, visitation. Now, since we have time change happened uh, this past weekend, uh, we have our start of visitations on, uh, on Saturday as well. We continue visitation on Monday, of course, but we will also add a visitation on the first and third Saturdays of every month. So the first one is coming up this this Saturday, the 16th. That's third Saturday. So if you want to be involved in that, it's going to be from two to three. 
uh, on that Saturday and we'll continue uh, the first and third Saturdays in the month all the way until well, when the daylight savings come out of here. So we'll be all the way through the fall and winter. Okay, and then um, there is a, I want to talk about something that's going to happen next week as well. On the 17th, we announced this last week, but we need to announce it again. Uh, we're going to have a, a special speaker that's going to come in. She's going to talk about human trafficking that's happening. And uh, believe it or not, it is happening in Texas. So we're going to talk, talk about human trafficking and what, what that's about. Um, it is pretty graphic. Uh, so it's kind of a fair warning. And we're going to have her speak uh, right after the uh, music time. So it'll be about the time that we have Children's Church. But for that Sunday, we're going to, and that Sunday alone, we're going to uh, extend Children's Church up to sixth grade uh, because of that uh, the, the graphic situation going on in that in that uh, message. So, so from grades one to six on the seventeenth, we will have Children's Church. Usual Children's Church goes from grade two to grade three, grades one through three. But this this next Sunday will be grades one through six. So, if you want to invite your child uh, to be in the uh, in children's church, if they're in grades four through six, they normally don't. But this next Sunday they can be. So, and uh, just and that's why because of the graphic nature of that uh, message. Okay, and all right, we still have opportunities uh, to show the Billy Graham material. And I know this past Thursday, I believe, or Friday, that the Billy Graham uh, message was on TV. Um, I didn't get to see it because I don't have TV, but, uh, but I have seen it pretty good. And um, anyway, we do have the DVDs, as far as I thought, over here. And if you want to show them to family, friends, neighbors, uh, you people don't like, uh, just, you, can, you can show that to them that, with that DVD. And it's not just for the month of November. It's not like it's for the first that DVD just gets destroyed. You can show it anytime. And so... Uh, so that's a, that'd be a wonderful thing, another wonderful way to share uh, the message of Christ with friends and neighbors, co-workers, family, and uh, people you don't know like. It's a good way to do it uh, because hey, it's Billy Graham doing it. We know Billy Graham. Okay, I want to give it normal announcements. So uh, Winston that meal, the men are going to be cooking, and they're going to be cooking hamburger corn pie. And cut beans, dessert and tea. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Hamburger and corn pot. And, uh, and I was already talking about cooking it on Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. And uh, we really get prepared for that. So, looking forward to that. All right, based on you, you tomorrow. And then also, um, if you are here, and that includes all of you, we do have a black folder right in front of you uh, in, in the uh, pockets of the We've got one for every six chairs right in front of you, and there's a black folder, and we'd love to, for you to fill that out for you and your family, and if there's a pen in there, more, more than likely there will be, and you can fill that out, and uh, we'd appreciate it. Also, right next to those folders, and in the other pockets as well, there is a little green sheet for prayer requests. If you have a prayer request uh, during the greeting time, which will come in several minutes, because we have a few things we're still going to do, um, Brother Jim Glass is going to stand up here by the Christian flag if you can take those prayer requests for you as well. Um, but the next thing to do will be the uh, baptism if it is ready, and then we also have one other thing to do before the greeting time. Anytime we have the opportunity to uh, share in baptism. Uh, today, a young lady is coming to make her public profession of faith in Jesus as her personal Lord and Savior from the baptistry uh, to become a part of this church family. And uh, as she comes, we have uh, family who have come to support her all the way from Houston. Hi, way back me, family. There we go, right there in the middle. And, of course, Mom's back here. She's going to take a picture. Uh, Any time a person uh, comes to the realization that God is drawing them, uh, that Jesus is calling them for salvation, and they respond to receive Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, uh, it is their then uh, opportunity, and uh, not only an opportunity, but a responsibility to follow the Lord publicly in baptism. So today, we're going to share that time.
This is Nevaeh Montoya. And she comes today declaring her faith in Jesus as her personal Lord and Savior. Based on your public profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Nevea. We pray that you would bless her as she goes through the days ahead. She learns your word. She applies it to her life. She grows in her relationship with you. We thank you that you saved her not with the water in this baptistry, but with your shed blood, Lord Jesus. And that this water simply reflects the truth that we are buried to an old way of life and raised to a new life in Jesus. We pray, Lord, that as you have now baptized her, not only in water, but in sermon today, that people who are here who have not yet given their heart and life to you will know that there's room for them still to come to the cross and to be saved and to follow you in baptism. That they too could be baptized into the body of Christ in a spiritual reality that we would belong to you for all the days of our life and for all of eternity. And that you will ultimately make us like your sinless son. Not a God, but a person who has been born again in a resurrection body with the character of Christ. And we thank you for that. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have one other thing we're going to do before the greeting time. And I want to keep, say tomorrow is Veterans Day, November 11th. And we are going to, uh, I'm going to read this list of uh, men and women that we have in this uh, church family that are veterans. And I uh, just want to read this to, for this and uh, just, just to let you know who they are. Uh, on this list, every one of these veterans, it says U.S. Army, U.S. Marines. Uh, they are all from the U.S. So just uh, U.S. military, no French or, or Indian or anything of that nature. So I'm just going to skip the U.S. part and say Army and Marine, that type of thing. But anyway, um, and they're mostly in alphabetic order. So and if I forgot your name uh, or... I got you in the wrong branch. Uh, I, I humbly apologize and want to simply say that it's Alfaro's fault. <laughs> uh, Mr. Billy Bacon was in the U.S. Army. Uh, Ronnie Denton, U.S. Army. Uh, Ricky Dean is in the Navy. Wayne Doherty, Army. Al Farwell in the Marine Corps. Uh, George Gensler, the Army. James Gergen, both in the Navy and the Air Force. Uh, Marvin Punches in the Marines, uh, Jeff Hill in the Air Force, Gladys Hall is in the Air Force, uh, Jack Harrison in the Air Force, uh, James Hugleton in the Air Force, John Klinkhammer in the Marines, Bob Miller in the Navy, Howard Murray in the Army, James Matthews in the Marines, John Potter in the Army, Wilson Perry in the Army, Manuel Ramon in the Air Force, Ernie Rodriguez in the Army, Floyd Reeves in the Army, John Riley in the Air Force, Rick Roy in the Army, uh, Jesse Simmons in the Air Force, Donnie Thompson in the Navy, Earl Tiffin in the Navy, Gerald Pigito in the Army, and uh, Woody Woodard in the Navy. And uh, many of those are here today. Some cannot be here with us for various reasons. And we know some of them are also with ill health at this time. But nonetheless, we are very thankful for our veterans and uh, for their service. And we continue to be thankful for the ones that are currently in the military as well. And so we know, uh, many of us know someone that is in the military or multiple people that are currently in the military serving, some even overseas in high places. I want to read a passage of scripture. Um, we think of sometimes when we think of uh, this time, it's in Psalm 33, uh, verses 10 through 12. It says, The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, his people whom he has chosen as his heritage. 
And simply speaking, what is, say, what is stating is that we are very thankful for these men and women who serve. We are very thankful for our military, but it is certainly uh, the, the decisions are done by our U.S. government and what they, and, uh, and basically they are having to fall uh, under them as well. Frankly speaking, when the U.S. government does not uh, choose to walk in the Lord's favor, does not choose to walk with what God wills for them, um, simply speaking, the Lord will bring the counsel of the nations to nothing. And that's just simply speaking, it, it's not just the United States, obviously, it's every single nation on the face of the earth. And that's just something of that nature. But we need to remember that whenever God is the Lord of our nation, God will bless the nation. And that's just simply speaking. And so we need to continue to pray during these times. We do thank, we are very thankful for our veterans, but we need to realize that our nation needs to repent at the same time. Well, let's all stand and greet one another this morning in the name of the Lord as we sing His praises. <laughs>